Hello fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday. No water changes for me today. Just a guppy tub update. So really nothing new here. Surprisingly, no babies yet. No guppy fry. Everybody's still alive of course. Doing well, but no guppy fry. Uh, you can see the duckweed has decided to take off, which is fine. I have goldfish. They love duckweed. It's like a delicious tasty treat for them. You can see these are the cobras, um, one male and a handful of females, maybe two males actually. Yeah, two males and a lot of females, maybe four or five females, a couple different sizes. Let them grow out in here as well. Then we have the, what was it, Kabamba maybe, uh, hornwort, and then lots of green hair algae, which is fine, don't really care. Um, and then the floating plants and uh, my air stopped working while I was in Japan and a lot of the pond gurus say you don't need air so I don't really care no air what are you gonna do in this pond guppy tub hot pink guppy tub eat bugs um, we have grass guppies bluegrass red grass grass guppies Again, one male and probably four or five females, or three or four females. No babies yet that I can see. Usually you can see them when you move the, the clump of stuff. Um, there's one of the males right there doing a little dance. Hey, look at me. All right, uh, text after me. So, also duckweed in here. Also starting, not really starting to take off as much, but you know, when I'm done, the pond plants go in the garbage because they don't overwinter for me. Um, the duckweed will go in the uh, goldfish tank and the other plants will go in guppy tanks because you can never have enough cover. And then that brings us to this tub, which I didn't level. However, I did put holes on this side to drain. Uh, this tub is going to get some new guppies. We're going to put some of the uh, red, white, and blue guppies in here, a trio. Um, I have another female, but she just dropped fry or she's in the middle of dropping fry because they're like minuscule fry and she's hiding really well. So I don't want to stress her out anymore by trying to catch her and put her in here. Uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day I'll try to grab her and put her in here. So yeah, just like that. No acclimation, no nothing. Imagine that. I know some of you fish people are like, oh my God, but I never have a problem. So, but now we need cover. So I have this bucket of stuff. Uh, there's some Rickia, some Java Moss, probably some Water Wisteria or Water Sprite, whichever one it is. We'll just put a big clump in there like that. And then that'll be for the next guppy tub, which may or may not be a guppy tub. Shall we go check on that one? I think we shall. Do we need more cover in here? Nah, I think we're going to leave it like this and see what happens. All right. I'll be back. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, we're out at the side of the house now and uh, haven't decided obviously that chair has got to go in the garbage and those other things just really haven't gotten around to it um, quick update on the pond that has to be repaired it's in exactly the same condition as you saw it last time because I'm lazy and it was Father's Day and even though I wanted to do it I had other plans so uh, what are we putting in this tub sword tails right look at these beauties Look at these beauties. Hyphen red tuck swordtails. There's two females and I and I snagged a fry by accident. I'll just let that fry grow up in here. Looks like it's gonna be a male, but we'll see. Um yeah, these guys look spectacular and uh hopefully it'll produce lots of fry. I'm not really big into swordtails anymore, but these are pretty nice. So let's put them in. Obviously, there's some Ricky in there as well. That's fine, that'll produce lots of cover when it grows. And then we have a bucket of stuff. Boom! Oh look, I splashed on the wall. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, these guys will uh, get acclimated to the, uh, to the pond and uh, we should be good. Now, most of my ponds I don't feed. I just let nature take its course and feed, but if I happen to be outside or I happen to have time or I'm feeding the angelfish tank upstairs, I grab a can of food and, you know, if I have time, I'll come out and maybe drop some flake in there. But for the most part, I don't really even feed them. I just, uh, I just let 
the bugs do it. <coughs> uh, so yeah, that's the Zortel Pond. And you can see there's uh, like a dead fly, maybe. I don't know if you can see that in focus. It's like right there. But hopefully they'll eat that or eat all its babies. Um, I had to tell my neighbor, you know, hey, don't worry, I'm putting a fish in the pond, so it's not going to be a mosquito heaven. I felt bad because there was water in here for like a week with no fish in it, so. All right, fishy folks, that's it for Water Change Wednesday Pond Update. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to check out the website, michaelsfishroom.com. Thank you again for 8,000 subs. The sale went over fantastic. I, I sold quite a bit over the weekend for the sale, so. Hope everyone has a great day and a great week and some awesome interviews coming next week.